Hi, my name is Anna, and this is my mentor, Lila. Anna and I found the inspiration for our short story, Searching, in music. We each sent each other a track to listen to. She sent me Muse's Butterflies and Hurricanes, and I sent her Debaser by the Pixies, and free wrote from there. A story about finding adventure flowed naturally from that point. This story is told from two points of view. Anna and I will each read one. I woke up. I rolled my head around my neck and stretched. Today I felt tense. I felt like there was something I was missing and that I desperately needed to find it. I was getting tired, not because of late nights or the after effects of an adrenaline rush. It was a slow realization, one that crept gradually on me and started to sink in after the exhilaration of adventure faded. I've been a wanderer for too long. At first, I loved it, the freedom and mobility. I went wherever I wanted, but I started to feel the need for something more, a purpose. I closed my eyes and raised them against the sun. There was something gathering in the air, and I could feel it in my fingertips. Something important was going to happen. I would give myself in to reckless abandon, but I don't know how. Even when I try, there's this unbreakable, immovable force holding me back, choking me. So I decided I'd go out tonight. I'd walk someplace. I tied on my platform heels and just walked. I haven't gone far, but my feet are burning, the result of wearing the platform shoes. I like it. Music from a nearby club pounds the sparkling pavement. The sign reads dizzy, and on a sudden impulse, I push the door open and saunter in. It's time I got lost. The air is warm and I feel my chest burn as the alcohol sets my system on fire. I cough and smile at the dizziness that messes with my head when I stand. God, I needed this. I want to dance and I'm feeling reckless. A guy appears at the edge of the swaying bodies and I grab his arm. Dance with me, I command. That was easy. People are less intimidating when you can't make out their faces. <laughs> Debaser by the Pixies is playing. This girl is dancing like crazy, and I can't help but think that she's what's going to happen tonight. She's the reason for the sense of potential I had when I woke up this morning. I can't think of what to say to this girl who just grabbed me and pulled me out to the dance floor, so I say the only thing I can think of. I love this song. Me too, she beams. She's stumbling a little bit, tripping over her own shoes. She looks like the kind of girl who isn't used to heels, but like she's having a great night. Oh, and drunk. She looks drunk, but hell, so am I. And anyway, she looks happy. She's even singing. Shake, I can lose ya. Are you moving? When I tell her those aren't the words, that the right lyrics come from the Buñuel movie, she regards me critically for a moment. I almost go on about how much I love that music, about the eyeball scene, and hey, maybe she'd like to come over and watch it sometime. But I stop, because so many emotions pass through her wide eyes. Confusion, annoyance, and finally, decision. She walks away. She is not what is happening tonight. We move out to the dance floor. The Pixies Debaser is playing, and I've had not a small amount to drink, and it feels like the best song in the world. We're dancing, and he puts his hand on the small of my back and leans down. I love this song, he yells over the music. <laughs> Me too. I do. It reminds me of college, how after an especially awful day, Katie and I would sit in her room and drink three buck chuck and dance with complete abandon, screaming out the words. I'm not a good dancer, but I, sometime around age 18, I realized that most people aren't, that the trick is to just not care. I'm doing the same thing right now, lifting my arms and twisting probably nowhere in time with the music. I can't help but sing along. Shake, I can lose ya. Are you moving? <laughs> Those aren't the words. It's I am Unchin Andalusa, he says. <laughs> you know, like the Bunel movie. Have you seen it? I have, but that's not the point. I feel oddly deflated. There's not much that compares the feeling of realizing you've been wrong about something, even something as trivial as the words to a song. I've been wrong about important things before. I was wrong, for example, in thinking that I might enjoy law school. <laughs> for every big thing I've been wrong about, however, there are dozens of inconsequential facts I got messed up. Until last week, I thought that prefix had a silent S. Every time I'm wrong, the world feels out of order, like somehow mishearing the lyrics to one pixie song means that everything I think I know could be false. <laughs> I need another drink. I sought her away from Mr. Unshin Andalusia. Shake, I can lose ya. And back to the bar. He's not the adventure I'm here for tonight. I am. <laughs>